to YouTube, what the heck is up? It's your boy Joey P. Welcome back to part two of my dream build setup. This part is going to be the entertainment setup that you just saw some snippets of. I'm going to be taking you through the process of me building everything, putting it all together, kind of my thought process behind it, why I did things that I did a certain way, and kind of the future plans of the rest of the room. If you have any questions, I am more than happy. Go ahead and leave them down in the description below. I will also link all of the items here so that if you guys want to add this to your setup, you are more than welcome to. See you guys at the end of the video. Enjoy. So starting off here, we picked up a brand new 48 inch LG A1 OLED TV. That right there is a mouthful. I chose this for a couple reasons. Number one being that when I buy TVs, I stick mainly to Samsung, LG, or Sony. Personally, these have always been the best in my opinion. They've always had a really good track record with me, and these are mainly all the TVs that are in my house. Number two, 48 inches was the perfect size for my wall, as it's not a huge room by any means. I just try and maximize the space the best I can. And it's not really a common size of a TV, so it was just, it kind of worked out that I could find a 48 inch of an LG. The price was really good as well. It was right around $750, which is a really good price for an OLED, and it's from a reputable brand, so I'm not too worried about that. I grabbed a Rocketfish tilt mount from Best Buy as well for the back, as this TV is not going to be moving around a lot, so it was fairly cheap, and I know it's going to hold into the wall. Next up on the list is an entertainment center from Amazon. This was only about $90, and it matches the theme of the room with the wooden top and the metal sides. This will be holding the essentials like my router, my Xbox One X, and my secret surprise that is coming up here soon. This honestly only took about 45 minutes and was super easy to put together. It comes with this nice glass middle section as well as a built-in LED bar to illuminate the inside, which I really appreciated and was a great touch. Overall, it's very well put together and sturdy, so I have no worries when putting my stuff on there. There are no complaints from me about this product, and I would be happy to recommend it to anyone that is looking for a nice entertainment center. Next up, me and my friend brought up a chair that I already had down in the living room. Just wanted something that was comfortable and I'm able to lounge in. And this chair already had both of that, so I decided to move it upstairs instead of buying a new one. The room is coming along, and today we are going to be building this IKEA storage shelf. It's a little metal, a little wood, you know, kind of keeping the theme of the room going. Uh, this is going to hold most of my camera stuff, so I'm not going to hold you here any longer. Let's get right into it. As you heard my past self say, this is the IKEA shelf, and it's another combination of metal and wood. Again, just trying to really tie the room together and make sure everything is somewhat close to each other. I've seen a couple of people use the TV unit version of this, but it looks nice as a shelf to put things more on display instead of strictly using it as storage. I'll put the name up on the screen as I'm not going to embarrass myself even trying to come close to the pronunciation of it. But this was great. IKEA furniture I've always had great success with, and nothing's fallen apart on me yet. I'm hoping that continues with this, as I'm going to be having some pretty expensive camera equipment up there that I really prefer to keep in one piece. Up top I have my drone, the Mavic Air 2, my gimbal which is the Ronin RS2, and my main travel tripod which is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Edition. In the middle I have both my Peter McKinnon sling bag that I use almost every day when I'm shooting, my drone travel bag, and some audio equipment including the DJI mic as well as the H4n zoom recorder. Down low in the storage area I'm keeping some of my lesser used accessories like an old tripod and an old lens down there, as well as I'm using the open back to charge my batteries for my drone as well as my camera. Overall, couldn't be happier with this purchase as it is both functional and looks good, plus it matches all the other furniture quite nicely. It has helped me gather my scatter photography equipment and be able to organize it all in one place. Now this, this right here, this might be my favorite purchase I've ever made. Let's open this thing up and show you what's inside. Now this here, this is not just your run-of-the-mill original Xbox. Now while that would be great, this is actually a 2 terabyte modded Xbox that comes with every game ever made for the original Xbox. I'm super excited about this, I think this is going to be an awesome addition to the setup. I think people are really going to enjoy it when they come over and hang out. I think it's just something nice to have. You know, gaming nowadays has just gotten a little bit boring, so this is something I think will really spice up the game room. Home office, we'll call it, you know. Both of them. We're trying to be productive, but we also like to game in here, so it's a little bit of both. The nice part is it comes with a custom HDMI port, which you typically don't have on the original ones, but now I can use this and play it on my big screen TV and I don't have to worry about using those original red, white, and yellow cables. It just comes with a nice HDMI cord, plug right in, plug and play, ready to go. I will be sure to link this down in the description below for you so you can check it out for yourself, maybe add it to your gaming setup. And let's get this bad boy hooked up and on the big screen, see how it plays. 
So when it boots in, you're brought into this menu and it literally has any game you could want to play from those early 2000s. As someone who started gaming then, I'm super jacked up about this and have already played through the Def Jam campaign. This will be great. I have some younger nieces and nephews and I'm super excited to be able to show them the games that I used to play as when I was a kid as opposed to the stuff that you get to play nowadays and how our graphics weren't always as good as we remember. As someone who mainly plays on PC and plays Battle Royale games, it's super refreshing to be able to sit down and throw up some nostalgic games on the big screen. Hello there again, hope you guys enjoyed part 2 of this build. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to comment them down below and I will answer them to the best of my abilities. Part 3 of this will be me fixing the lighting in this room. Currently I am using a uh, softbox and some ring lights to illuminate the room. Uh, it needs some lamps, you know, maybe some strip lights, some RGB, really spice this place up, you know? After that, I will be getting some artwork for the walls. The walls are pretty bare right now, there's not, I mean, there's literally nothing on them except that TV and then the monitors, so... Uh, those are going to be probably some of my own uh, photography and then probably some of my favorite artists as well. I made these videos to kind of show that you can do a lot with a smaller space. This room is really only about like a 12 by 9. You really don't need a full basement. And with this, I was able to kind of make both sides feel like they have their own purpose. I have like my entertainment center side with a TV and then I have like my productivity side with my desk, even though we do game on there as well. So it's a little bit dual purpose. I did make this video without any sponsors, all of this is my hard spent at Cashola, but if anyone wants to shoot me some products or shoot me a sponsorship, I will gladly include them in my setup. But overall, thank you guys so much for all the support, I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's been awesome to see what everyone's been saying about part one. Part three probably won't be for a little bit, uh, it's going to take me a little extra time to purchase everything, it's not going to be all at once like I kind of do with these ones. If you guys enjoy the video, please leave me a like on the video as it does help a lot. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Smooches. Peace out.